Hi there, Pisces. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, I'm doing this reading during the time of the new moon in the sign of Gemini. So, this reading covers the energies for the month of May onwards to next month all at the same time with how things might be manifesting for you in between those time so um let's see what's going on with you in terms of your love life just keep in mind that this is still a general reading so it may or may not tune in for the rest and everyone else like i said this goes for those who have their pisces sun moon and rising sign so um yeah the month of may is a time of you know it may feel as if it's a time of a refreshing start you feel very open to life and to love all at the same time it might feel as if you know things in your head right now might be a mix of everything a mix of positives and a mix of negatives it's like um, being overwhelmed by the energies is what you could be experiencing at this time in terms of your love life though i kind of feel that you are at the point wherein maybe you are hoping being hopeful or someone is actually you know giving you a hope for something i feel that you know you could be experiencing some form of uh, a meeting or in interaction with a particular person in your life that can really give your heart a uh, a beating you know that kind of you know lovey butterflies and warm feelings within you in the past though it's being shown to us that you know things in your past were not entirely smooth before there's a lot of awkwardness and things are not really working out but you are now coming to a point wherein you might feel and experience that things are possible to occur so this can be manifesting in a way wherein you are you know trying to date people here and there and you feel that nothing is ever working before but you will come across a person or come across a situation wherein it gives you a feeling an idea that things might actually work out after all you know all of my hard work has finally paid off there is something worth it here there is something worth fighting for that kind of energy so you might actually see some form of improvement it does show us here that you know for the past few weeks maybe or um maybe throughout the course of may you have been just taking care of yourself you know focusing on yourself loving yourself more and with this feeling of loving to yourself you come across a situation wherein you somehow attract love into your life and this is actually a very very good thing so you might meet someone you know have some form of mutual understanding with someone some form of communication an emotional connection can actually occur some form of love can be improved as a result which is always a good thing so i do feel that for many of you you could be you know um maybe you have recently started a new relationship that is being giving you some form of hopeful situations feeling you feel inspired basically you know you feel happy you feel inspired with a lot of things but it's still um w while there are a lot of improvements happening in your life it cannot be denied and it cannot be taken for granted the fact that you had a lot of bad experiences at all at the same time in fact we do see here that you know down to the core of you you have experienced a lot of love disappointments and a lot of heartaches in the air maybe there is someone also who had who is in your life right now who's trying to woo you maybe as a possibility and they they have hurt you um in a very drastic way we do have the three of swords and the ten of swords all together as the core foundation um of what you're truly feeling so 
you know this person might be a playboy or someone who does not want to commit um, and you know this might be a certain um, painful scenario in your life that even though that things are improving that things are getting better that maybe uh, maybe the guy is somehow changing or maybe you are with another person in your life and you know um, things are finally working out there's a lot of fears and a lot of anxieties back within your core you know there's a lot of fears that maybe this person is going to hurt me all at the same time or i might feel disappointed yet again those kinds of things and most importantly i can you feel that this can also manifest in a way wherein maybe this person might suddenly come back to the surface of their relationship you know and you might need to be careful with that because we do also have the nine night of wands uh, at the overall course of their reading like we're in you know someone suddenly changes you know um, it could be in a positive way wherein someone who has been very mean to you someone who who's um, who have left you suddenly goes back into your life it could also be meaning that you know someone suddenly changes from being mean to being loving or someone suddenly enters back into your life which if that is the case you need to be careful of that because the mo because one of the the things with the nine of wands is that they they leave as fast as they entered your life but i do feel that this could be a scenario wherein you know um someone is actually thinking about you thinking about you um and maybe they also regret the fact they also regretting the things that they have done to you at one point in time and they might be offering forgiveness and they might be wanting to start afresh with you as a possibility into this reading and this is the reason why you know there could be improvements in terms of your love life as a result now um, the key here is for you not to repeat the same mistakes not for you to not repeat what has already happened in the past so um, this is about you n trying to to contain all of your feelings you know trying not to be so clingy not to be so pushy not to always bring back the past into the plate and just let the other person you know do their thing my best advice here for a lot of pisces people is to um to not make decisions you know you can let the person in your life of course you can let them you know um you can let them woo you you can let them try to make things up to you but never do uh, a solid decision like getting back to that person that is something that you need to be careful of because you know you never really know if they are very sure of you until all of this has come to pass right now is a moment wherein you should be focusing on yourself and loving yourself more and embracing that because you will come to realize that the more you love yourself the more you allow love to enter your life and that is really you know the truth of a scenario also y there could be a lot of confusion in the air as well there could be misunderstandings just be just a fair warning there could be misunderstandings and a few disappointments that you experience but these are all can be fixed through a course of um patient communication level which i believe um, you guys are going to be doing and experiencing as well there is much love that you are going to be experiencing pisces and i'm really happy about that and um, a renewed sense of emotional support emotional understanding with yourself and with with your partner all at the same time this can also be you know a very very happy time we're in um maybe you had a lot of negative experiences in the past a negative um feelings in the past as a possibility but you know 
you can actually feel that things are finally changing now you know there are things now that you can actually look forward to there's a lot of communication that are coming in there there's actually a lot of fun and excitement in the air right now if there will be anything that is going to hold you back that is the idea of you know overthinking um, and fearing things that are not even in the situation so that is one of the few things that you might need to keep in mind as a result so but other than that it does shows us here that there is a specific person that's going to be entering your life and this person might um, either trigger you trigger some emotional trauma in you maybe because you had a past with that person or it could be with someone new but um the energy of the past that scares you the most you know scare be, you being scared of the truth you being scared of you know um of allowing this person into your life just like how you have allowed other people into your life only to hurt you so don't give in to fears and anxiety and just focus on the idea that things are getting better now there is something that needs to be worked on and it might feel as if you have overcome a big struggle in your life and that is really a good thing you can actually you know relax now because i feel that for many of you guys there is some form of emotional security that you are going to be experiencing it's not as hassle as things may seem it's not overly dramatic as well in fact there is a lot of things that you are going to be happy about and you will be going to be happier about i do feel that this can be a time of uh a moment to be very hopeful you know feeling really really happy but let us not forget that astrologically you know neptune in pisces is also making a square to to mercury so that is the reason why i say that you know we also need to be careful and not to jump the gun just because things are happening in our life do things with caution but enjoy the process all the same time is the best way how to handle this energy for the most part though i do see that there's going to be a lot of improvement in terms of your love life and a lot of love to be experienced all at the same time which is you know always a good thing so um yeah what else have i missed out um also be careful of you know being over the top like exaggerating things because you know sometimes you don't have to be mad with things that is not of the bigger picture you t you can be very sensitive also at, th at this time and that sensitivity might you know lose its purpose you know like you're getting mad because someone did not message you at the right time you know like it's a very small thing but it could be something big to you at the end of the day so you just need to be aware of your own emotions all at the same time and control and tone them down a little bit um so um yeah and again there is definitely going to be someone looking for you and how you handle this is going to be the outcome of what might transpire to you at the end of the day so for me though my best advice is to let things happen let the person come to you don't make any decisions and just enjoy the process so it is a very happy time with you know I, i'm sure that there are still things that is going to confuse you but i am sure that there are also a lot of things that will make your heart flutter and make you happy as a result so it is a very good time for a lot of our pisces friends out there a lot of opportunities can come to you and a lot of information and communication can come to the surface so um yeah this is my reading for you guys i do hope that you have a happy may to may to june energy
and um yeah again if you'd like a more personal outlook into your own situation you can do so by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month